quarterback number two, Lamar Jackson of the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I have a couple points to make on Lamar. So I have him at number two behind Mahomes for a couple reasons. If you go back and watch the, the position outlook, I, I detail it a bit. But I think he's going to run less this year for either one of two reasons. The, the first reason being he gets injured and, and they're forced to, 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 to run it with him less because he, he needs to be more of a pocket passer because he's not quite able to have that giddy up he had before an injury. Um, and I think that's a real concern. Look, as I said in the, in the outlook for the position, He's, a, he's not a big guy. He's not a thick guy. He's a skinny guy. And although he hasn't really shown um, a ton of injury proneness at, either in his few years in the league or in college, you just feel like it's there. He does take some big hits. He took a big one uh, who was at Cleveland. He took a couple big ones in the Niners game in the rain. And, and some of the ways he goes down are very awkward because he's so slippery and agile that he'll make some moves that kind of force him to go down in an awkward way on a shoulder or things like that. I, I just worry about that for Lamar Jackson. I still have him as the QB, too. I think he'll play, uh, you know, hopefully the whole season, obviously. I hope he plays every game. But I do worry about that. And the second reason they'll run him less is because they're worried about that as well. They, I think John Harbaugh and Greg Roman probably know that at some point, if you run a quarterback that much, they're, they're going to get hurt. Uh, they are. I mean, it happened to Michael Vick. It happens to all of them. And and I hope it doesn't with him, but it, it's almost certain that it will. So I think he runs less this year, and his numbers decrease uh, a decent amount, still enough to be the, the QB2, but still just behind number one.